In this video, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can upload files into your .NET Nuke website. Now, the easiest way to upload a file within a website for .NET Nuke is to do it within the HTML editor or even the HTML module. So I'm logged into a website right now and I'm currently in edit mode. I'm going to navigate to one of the HTML modules here on the page and I'm going to choose the edit content option. Now within the edit content option, I'm going to go into the rich text editor and let's say we want to add an image after the text here that says learn more. So I'm going to move my cursor down a new line and then from within the HTML editor, I'm going to go in and choose from the drop down list for the insert media section and I'm going to choose the image manager. If I go ahead and choose that image manager, I get an interface here that pops up and then I have access to the various folders here within the .NET Nuke website structure. So let's say I want to actually upload an image into a folder called images. So I'm going to select that folder here and then I'm going to choose the upload option. That gives me an interface here where I can go and browse for a file and I have a logo file here that I'm going to go ahead and select. I'm simply going to click on upload that will go out and upload the file and I can see it within the list of files here in the images folder. So I can now select that image and click on insert and that image is now available for use within our content. So that's one approach to uploading content. I'm actually going to close the HTML module without saving. The image is still out there and still uploaded into the same location. Another way that we can upload files is if we mouse over the tools menu, there's an upload file option. If we go ahead and click on that link, it will take us to an interface here where we can browse for a file. I'm going to once again choose that logo file. And now we can choose where that file is going to go. You can see there's a variety of locations or folders that we could upload into. Now I could choose the images folder again and then click on upload file that would actually upload that very same file and would overwrite the existing image that was already there. So there's one more way that we can go about uploading a file within .NET Nuke easily. We're going to go to the admin menu this time around and under the admin menu there is a file manager option. Within the file manager on the left side we can expand and see a list of folders on the website. Once again there is an images folder here if we go ahead and choose images, we can then choose the upload option. This will take us to an interface that will look very similar to what we had just utilized. Choose our logo, click upload file. That logo has then once again been uploaded into the images folder. So we can go ahead and navigate in there once again. And if we were to go ahead and go to the next page, we would see the logo.png file here. So it's a variety of different ways that you can upload images or even other files within your .NET Nuke 7 website. 